Blessed day, brothers and sisters, all of us who are believers in Christ have this hope to have eternal life. This is the promise of God. Words from our Lord Jesus in the well-read and memorized verse, John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. So even when one day our body dies, we still live because God has given us eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The question is, when does eternal life start? It is sometimes perceived by many that eternal life will start right after the moment we die, when our heart stops beating and our physical body ceases to function. Let's dive into the scriptures to search the answer. 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 to 12. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. From this portion of the scripture, it's clearly written in verse 12 that he who has the Son has life. So when, when do we have Jesus? Think and ponder about it. Isn't this moment when we have believed and received Jesus as our Lord and Saviour, when our old selves, which were sinful, have been crucified and died, when we have repented and wanted to walk in obedience of God's words, and when we have received the Holy Spirit and allowed Him to lead and guide us. He who has the Son has life. Eternal life actually begins when Jesus lives in us, not after when our physical body dies. This is the important truth so that those who are living right now will strive to live a life pleasing to God, to be fruitful to do His will, and will not waste this life that God has given us, and not to wait hopelessly, hopelessly till we die. No wonder Apostle Paul has written in Philippians chapter 1 verse 21, For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. So while we are living, we live for Christ, for we already have eternal life. Even when we die, we gain because we still have eternal life being with the Lord forever. My brothers and sisters, let's treasure this time on earth which the Lord has given to us to do His will and shun away all ungodliness. For God, Christ Jesus, lives in us. Let's give thanks to Him always for we have already received the eternal life through our Lord Jesus.